This is Bob Hollis with the Mobius Network and a quick overview of DJ Image Slider, which I find to be a great component and module for uh, showing photos or a gallery on a Joomla website. So we're in our administrative area for Joomla and under components, we've got DJ Image Slider. And you'll see that there's an area for slides and categories. As with most Joomla uh, items, you, you want to have categories set up first. So in this case, in this demo, we've got one here called Facility Tours. And if you need to set up a new one, you just do it right here, or you can edit one, anything that's existing. And then our slide section in Joomla 2.5.1 can be uh, accessed simply by clicking the next tab. You don't need to go back up through uh, components again. And in this case, I've just got a couple of demo photos that I uploaded. But to add a new photo, I would click the New button and follow the bouncing ball. So you would just type your title in here, select a category that it will be assigned to, and this is very important because when we look at the module, you'll see that we can assign uh, photos by category to each particular module, a copy of a module. And then make sure that it's published, and if you, you can select your slide from here, and that'll give you an option to either browse to a, a new file to upload from your computer, or choose a file from an existing folder. So in this case, uh, we have a folder in here for facilities, and this is where I uploaded a couple of demo photos. Uh, but again, you would just click Browse, Browse to the photo, and Upload. So now that we've got some photos in there, we need to show them somewhere, and that's what we use the module for. So I'll go to Extensions and Module Manager, and DJ image slider demo that I set up here previously. And for this uh, module, uh, the module is installed with uh, separately from the component. So make sure that you install both when you install DJ image slider if it's not already been installed on your website for you by a web administrator. And then, of course, you choose your position, whether or not you want to show the title. And I am, for these purposes, just to identify what we're looking at. But I'm leaving it at access level special, so that only admins can take a look at it to check it out. And, of course, this is where you choose which pages you're going to put it on by selecting here and then uh, choosing appropriately in the checkboxes. And this is the part that's uh, a critical choice you can choose your slider source, either component or folder. If you choose folder, it is going to look for images in whatever folder you have listed here. Now, uh, this one in particular, someone had asked me for some help on that, and it had a little bit too much information back here uh, to the left. All you need to do, based on the location of these photos, is have uh, the front slash images and our folder path, file path. And when you use a folder as a source, you can only put one link. So if you had a bunch of different pictures of, say, different types of cars or something, and you wanted to take one, somebody to one car dealer if they click any picture, that would work. But a better option for customizing each one is to choose the option of component. So now using component as our photo source, it will draw from the slides that we just uploaded and identified in DJ Image Slider component. You choose the way you want it to move, horizontal, vertical, or fade, and then whether or not you want it to link to anything. And in the photo settings themselves, you can choose for each photo whether you want to link it to an article, a menu item, or an outside third-party URL. So a lot of options there. And then down here, remember, our module is what shows on the website. So you can choose the category that you want to show, uh, and then whether or not you want to show titles, descriptions, read more button, link title, link description. And then you can put a description limit. All of these are customizable, as well as slide width and height, whether or not you want to do auto fit, how many images are visible at a time, space, 
Max, etc. You can see what all of these are. And I, I like autoplay. I usually don't do the uh, mouse over part. It just looks a little sloppy, but depending on what you're setting up, like if you have rotating articles and you want people to be able to click through photos that are associated with a particular article, then it would make sense to leave these options available. Uh, the advanced options, you can set up your slide effect type and slide delays if you want to customize it. This is where you determine the height of the, like you would call it normally your, your vertical position or your, uh, your Y axis on uh, how high you want it on the screen and how far over. So um, you can take a look and play around with these different options to see how that looks. And then down here, other 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 options is not really anything that you'll need to affect in any way. So now that I have these settings in place, I can save and close. And you saw that we had that in user two. So if I take a look out here at this website, and we'll go back to the home page not showing there because we set it up for a special to make sure nobody else could see it while we're working on it. Okay. There we go. Okay, so now you see what this looks like. And I've got different options here. We can control this text color. Uh, you can link this to a specific article, which I did, but the articles don't really match the photo. And I don't imagine that these uh, photos would even stay on the site. This is just a demo, and that's a basic overview of how you use DJ Image Slider.